A new start for this family of three. We're actually very wrapped. <laughs> we're, we're really over the moon about it, yeah. They've felt the full effect of the city's housing crisis. After their home collapsed during the earthquake, they were left living out of a camper van and at friends' houses. Now, thanks to the government, they have a brand new two-bedroom apartment to shift into. Since the earthquake, uh, I guess we haven't been happy. <laughs> we haven't been happy. We've, we've sort of, yeah, we've lived in pretty much third-rate houses. And Housing Minister Nick Smith opened 12 of these apartments in the central city, being built on the site of an old backpackers. It's a $4 million project and a sign the city's rebuild is picking up pace, with more being built each day in the city than ever before. So 12 homes a day is a phenomenal pace, but it's the pace that is required if we are to restore Christchurch housing as quickly as possible to what it was pre-earthquake. But the minister believes it won't completely take the pressure off the market. Christchurch's rental market will remain tight until 2018. I base that on the rate of rebuild and repair that is going on and also the fact that there is a huge amount of economic activity in Canterbury that's attracting new people in that we have to not just accommodate those that have been displaced by the earthquakes, but also those new people that are coming into the area to support the infrastructure and housing rebuild. Housing New Zealand has repaired and replaced more of its stock than the Christchurch City Council and private sector, but believes it will take until 2018 to repair and replace more than 1,200 of its stock lost in the earthquake and cope with the population growth. Uh, the residential construction industry is going to remain incredibly busy uh, over the next year or two as we get through the peak of the rebuild. There's plans to build even more of these apartments with contracts signed to build on the neighbouring properties. Emma Cropper, CTV News.